wouldn't it be more better to use dogs? Right, well, dogs is a slang term for the canine. But you use mainly dogs or does you use mainly canines? In the United States, canine and dog, it's kind of an interchangeable word. All right, for real. Okay. Most of the dogs we get are black in color. We do get some yellows and rarely we get some chocolate colored ones too. Ain't that a bit racialist, getting mainly black dogs to do this? Oh, not at all. That's just a part of the Labrador Retriever uh, breeding. Um, all right. The black dogs are predominant. But ain't it a bit racially saying, all right, this is dangerous work, let's get the brothers in to go oh, and find the bombs? That has nothing to do with that. Why does you choose dogs to decide where bombs is? Why don't you choose a more intelligent animal like a dolphin? And again, that would be quite difficult to have a, uh, a fish tank on a cart. But I don't know if you know this, but dolphins ain't fish. Right. They, is, they is like us. They is memories. Correct. But they have to get back to a water source every now and again, and there's, that's what they say the the extent of work you'd have to go into versus a dog. Um, and then again, I don't know how good their sense of smell is compared to a dog. All right. Dogs are proven; they've been used for a lot of years because of their phenomenal sense of smell. So why does they stick their noses so close to each other's body? Again, dogs they give out um, different uh, scents. They let the other dogs know what's going on. That's why they're constantly smelling each other. Because I once smelled a dog's ass and it was horrible. Why does they do it? Different perception though. Um, something that's unpleasant to you is and unpleasant to them. Has you ever smelled a dog's ass? Can't say I have. Stay. This is Dabby. What? This is Dabby. And this is John. Hello. John. Dabby? Oh, the dog's name. Oh, all right, safe. When they actually find a bomb, how long does it take the dog to defuse it? The dog has nothing to do with that. The only thing that we use the dogs for, uh, what we train the dogs for, is to locate what we call a suspicious item. For real. Where does you get the dogs from? Uh, we get the dogs from different guide dog agencies. All right. So does you interview the dogs, or does you get like one of the senior dogs to do it? Um, the different trainers, actually, will go up and will evaluate the dogs. Why don't you use one of the dogs who's been here for like years to interview them? Because they will know whether it is good or bad. Right, right. Well, we, we like to send, our dogs are busy. They're out looking for explosives, so they don't have the time to, to go up there and interview the other dogs. So we do it ourselves. So can these dogs smell drugs? No. Thank God. Not at all. Yo, respect. You're safe. What? Why? How do you know? <laughs> you said thank God. Well, say that out loud. Yeah. I don't have any film. Man. You're all set. Yo, boom, boom, shake the mofo room. I is here with the main man of medicine, his name B.C. Everett Coop. So all you lot out there need to listen up because you is as likely to be killed by an illness as you is by a drive-by. So let's talk about the human body because after all, everyone has got one of them. So we is meant to believe. It's electrical. But surely, like, my homies out there would be more into looking after their heart if they had a beat that they could relate to, like a kind of drum and bass, you know. <laughs> then they would look after it and go, yo, this is me art. Respect it. No, you're way off base there. But why can't we use technology and, let's say, take out some of the bit, with full respect, boring organs and sticking like a CD playing like wicked speakers you're like booming out it's like walking sound system that would be wicked man it would be wicked is what you say it would be impossible is a better word well what about sticking a mobile phone in there surely there's space for that you just don't know what you're talking about what do you think would happen to your body with the cell phone in there well, it would be able to answer calls and all that kind of thing. No. You'd start to bleed, you'd start to get infection, and before long, if nobody intervened, you'd be dead. What is the brain? The brain is the, the, the thing that you have to have. Without the brain, nothing else works. Is the brain's memory any good? The brain's memory is perfect. So how come I can't remember my PIN number? Well... I think I, it's got a lot of four in it. I, but I, I could give you a quick answer and say you're stupid, you know. 
Well, that obviously ain't the real reason. Well, it's the beginning of truth. Does all of us really have bones, or is it just what the media want us to believe? You all have bones. We know this is a generalization, but why is all skeletons involved in evil stuff? That's just... Um, skeletons are the, uh, the last thing that disappear. How fast do bones grow? They grow very remarkably until you're a certain age, and then when you go through puberty, bones stop growing in length. How come some bones can grow in like a few seconds, like a few inches? That can happen. But how come the dong bone can, you it's know, just... Bone. It's not a bone. It is a bone, isn't no, it? No, it isn't a bone. But it does grow well quickly. I just got like 11 girls, or oh, I can prove it. They can give you written evidence. It's not bone. <laughs> Do you reckon it's ever okay to end someone's life? No, I do not. But like with my cat, when him had a broken leg, we took him to the vet and... Your your cat is not a human being. Well, my cat was a human being. No, please please don't confuse me. Your cat was not a human being. Nobody in the world believes a cat is a human being. Yeah, but it had human feelings, though. No, he doesn't have human feelings. It was sad sometimes. I'm sure it's sad. It was sad when they had to book at it because of the leg. Let's talk about a big thing. Death. D-E-F. I was talking about the thing that happens to you, you know, a few weeks after you was alive. That's bad, isn't it? Yeah, you don't spell it that way, though. It's D-E-A-T-H. So what is the chances that me will eventually die? That you will die? 100%. I can guarantee that 100%. You will die. Right, he was being a bit of a pessimist then. No, I'm being an absolute realist. I didn't realise he was a player, hey. I'd like to get a second opinion on that. There is nobody that I know who has a mind and a brain who doesn't know that everybody will die. I like to think that four out of five people is definitely going to be have the death thing happen to them. One out of five... God bless. Keep going. Keeping it strong. I hope. You will eventually find you're wrong. Keep it real. Yo, big up yourself. <laughs> <laughs>